You know when I start a vlog, sat here, it's good vibes. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all feeling amazing and doing amazing. Welcome back to another solo trip video. So I went to Milan, I'm back now, and I forgot to film an intro. So I'm just letting you guys know that this vlog is so precious to me. It's such a dear memory that I'm gonna hold forever. It starts off pretty hectic, like you're gonna see in a second, but I really hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, okay? Thank you so much for supporting me on my journey. I really hope you guys enjoy it because I really like it. I think it's definitely one of my favorite vlogs. So without further ado, let's cue the Milan vlog. Today, if we're gonna go to Duomo, Duomo, I don't wanna, I feel like I'm butchering it. Duomo, the cathedral. I oh, know, is, is that the cathedral? I don't even know that, I don't even think that's the cathedral's name, but today, we're going to the cathedral and to do some sightseeing and to eat loads of good food, have good vibes. We're on a solo holiday, guys, like another one. I can't believe it. Do you know what? I'm so hungry that it all feels too surreal. So I need to eat so I can actually deep that I'm in Milan. So, so let's go find food. I feel like you can't see me very well because of where the sun's come from but there's like limited places to sit here but I feel like I was bumped in that place because I went in there because the tomato pasta was only eight euros and it was so worth it like it was so good but then the Sprite this was five euros I would not have got it if I'd known that and then I also picked up one of these little desserts which I'm going to try now which was three euros I would never pay three pounds for this in England I don't even really eat desserts but I know that these are like really popular hair so I really wanted to try one because I've seen people try it before so yeah but it all came to like 18 pounds and they added an extra two pounds for like a service charge it was just and I don't feel I feel like some of the guys in there was a bit like rude towards me as well it just was not a good vibe I don't even like sweet stuff this is literally one of the nicest things I've ever tasted in my life like this is so nice it's like pistachio in like I don't even know I don't even know what this is but wow First time I'm vlogging without my sunglasses on. You know there's that um, place in here where you basically put your foot in a dent in the like floor and spin around three times but call me superstitious but I don't believe in doing that especially when think of all the thousands of people that are doing it every day. It's supposed to give you good luck. Spin around three times gives you good luck but think about the thousands of people that are doing it every day and their energy that they're putting into this stone that and it's stone so like does energy shift from a stone i don't know <laughs> just be superstitious but so i just um googled a review for the best gelato places in milan so now i'm just walking to it basically it's just at the end of this road i was just gonna go for like a really long stroll but i was like wait i want gelato so that's what we're gonna go and find I 
even told you guys, but I'm actually running a half marathon in October for Cancer Research UK. And I'll leave the link in my description box if you guys want to donate. I'm trying to, I'm trying to um, get 400 people to donate one pound each so I can raise 400 pounds. So yeah, basically I've got six weeks to train for a half marathon, um, but I'm already a runner. So I ran my first like long distance the other day and it was quite good. If you guys want to donate to a good cause and support me for my run, then the link is down below in my description. I decided to grab a scooter. It's around, I don't even know what time it is right now, but I'm so tired, I don't want to burn myself out before like the rest of the day ends. Sorry, people are just gawking me and it's like really unpleasant. But yeah, um, thank God I signed up to this when I was in London, the scooter thing, because I don't have my ID on me. But yeah, I grabbed the scooter and I'm just scooting back, but I don't think I can multitask because this ship goes fast, wait. This is actually going so fast, but yeah, I'm going to catch up with you guys when I get back. This is my little scooter. Is the light going to come in? This way. Guys, I cannot tell you how much I recommend, like, if you go to Milan to get a scooter. Like, I literally just took it all the way back from the cathedral back to where I'm staying, and it was... I'm staying like right by the station and I couldn't believe how quick it was. It was expensive, it was six euros. Um, whereas I have like a train pass anyway, but it was actually such a nice ride because I got to see so much more that I wouldn't have seen being on the train. And it was really quick as well. I think probably took me like, to like 10 minutes. So yeah, but I was driving like a bad woman. So, but the cobble streets are quite hard to drive on. Like I was like shaking and holding on for my dear life because it's like so bumpy, but Oh my God, I keep looking the wrong way as well to cross the road. You know, drive backwards here. But yeah, that scooter thing made my day. Now I feel okay about going back to the hotel to rest, even though it's for only 3.30. My watch is a little bit, my watch is still an hour behind. It's in London time. Oh my God, I was going to my car. Um, yeah, back to the hotel to chill. And in the evening, we can do something else. Hello guys, so it's been a few hours since I last spoke to you. Wait, let me close this door because it's been a few hours since we last caught up. I came back, oh my god, look at like this makeup on my forehead. I came back to the hotel and literally knocked out, which I'm sure you can tell by my face. I've literally like just woken up. I came back to the, the hotel at around five o'clock in the evening. And like I showed you guys, I got one of those scooter things, which was so fun, by the way. Like, I've never done that before. Never ridden one. At first, I was like really scared because it goes really fast. But yeah, that was a fun little experience. I woke up, I was feeling really poorly. I've eaten way too much dairy on this trip so far already. And it's literally only day one. I was feeling really sick, like I was going to throw up. And I've just been like in and out of the bathroom, just trying to make myself be sick and for it to just come up. I know it's a bit TMI, but no, that's just kept me in bed for even longer because I was supposed to only have like an hour or two nap, but I was just feeling so unwell. So I went and got an apple from downstairs, a pro tip. If you're ever feeling unwell, um, that you feel like nauseous, just go get a piece of fruit and it literally makes you feel so much better. It's currently 8.22. So there's an Aldi like close to the hotel. So I'm gonna go and buy some water because I'm so dehydrated. I've only drank like one bottle of water today, which is not like me and it's not good. I think that can be contributing to why I feel so tired. And then I'm gonna have an early night. I don't think I can eat anything again because I've been feeling so nauseous. I mean, I say that, but am I gonna go and get McDonald's fries? I need to stop, okay? I'm training for a marathon, I need to stop but i'm like would the carbs potato help 
sober it up. I was going to get a Too Good To Go bag because they do them here in Milan. So I think that's something we can do tomorrow. I might actually check that out to see if they've got any left around anywhere. I am so happy that I came out of the hotel because, oh my God, I realised when I went in the lift that my forehead is burnt. What is going on there? But I'm so happy that I came out because it is such a nice night. Like, this is a proper nice summer night. And I've realised I haven't had a nice summer night where I've had a stroll. And Audi is like 30 seconds away. Should be on this road here. So, so happy I came out. It's so nice. So glad that I went out, the vibe out there was so nice. I just ended up grabbing two of these waters from Aldi because it was quite late, everything else was sort of sold out. And I didn't see any stacks that jumped out at me. So I quickly went to McDonald's and I got a hamburger with no meat and some fries because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since like two o'clock and it's eight, but I didn't want to like go and get a heavy, heavy meal. I wanted something quite light. So anyway, guys, this is my first day of Milan completed. This trip is very much sightseeing, a very chilled vibe. There's no going out. There's no going to all different kinds of like night spots. I know they have a radio rooftop bar here, like the one they have in London, but I, weird stuff just happens in this room. But I was just like not feeling that. Apologies for the random introduction, but I really want to give you guys a room tour. While the room is tidy, now, I've been here for a few days, this is my second day here. So it's not the tidiest, but the cleaners have been in. So yeah, I thought I'd insert it now before it's messy again. So let me show you guys. So you walk in the door and then there's mirror here. And then directly opposite the mirror, you have the wardrobe where I just threw all my stuff in. It's a decent size. This is a room for one person. I built a single person room. So it's a little bit cheaper. And then this is the bed. Really comfortable. This is one of the most comfortable hotel beds I have ever stayed in. And I'm not even being dramatic. I swear to God. I was not expecting it because it doesn't look like much. But it's so cosy. And then obviously bedside tables. And then... I'm looking at, oh, you can see my reflection. Let me put it in the camera. You can see I'm looking out, right out to Milan Central Station. Bathroom, which I, I don't even, I think it's a bit, yeah, it's tidy, it's tidy enough. So we have this nice size shower here. The water pressure was decent. It wasn't the best, but it was still quite a good shower. And then this is what the bathroom looks like. We have a bidet, the toilet, and then, Opposite it, we have a mirror, and this mirror has such good lighting, and loads of storage down here in the bathroom as well. Oh, a blow dryer. What is all this? I didn't even open these drawers yet. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day now, which means that it's late Como day. I'm so excited. So I'm going to Verena and Bellagio. That's my plan. But right now, it's 7.30 in the morning, and I think the first train <clears throat> that I've seen, or the next tra the train that I'm going to get, was thinking to get is at 8.20. But... What I'm thinking to do is go to the Starbucks Reservatory, which is near the Duomo, because it opened at 7.30. By the way, I know, like, you probably think I'm insane. Why am I awake this early and we're an hour ahead in Italy? But in the UK, I wake up at, like, 5, 6 a.m. anyway. So I physically couldn't force myself to get back to sleep. And I feel so well rested because, as you guys know, I knocked out, like, during the day yesterday. So I've definitely had more than enough sleep. So obviously I need my morning fix of coffee. So I'm thinking to go to the Starbucks Reservatory. I've literally just slapped on this crop top and the tracksuit that I wore on the plane hair. And I don't have any makeup on. I just put on some of that liquid blush. And like brush my eyebrows up. Just put one of the scooters down. And I'm actually outside. Is this the restaurant I ate at yesterday? Oh no, it's not. Um, I'm just walking to the Starbucks Reservatory now. I think that's the last time I'm going to get a scooter because that was six euros. But if I took the train, it would have only been two euros and last me all day. So I think that's it for that. I also drove right past the Starbucks on the scooter and I'll have to walk five minutes to it. Walking back how I drove here.
So I missed the train to Lake Como, um, which is so annoying because if I just bought the ticket when I was gonna buy it, then I wouldn't have. But I was being stingy and saw that I could get it for a little bit cheaper online than if buying it in person. So now the next train is in two hours at 12.20, which is so annoying because I woke up at like 5, 6 a.m and I still managed to miss the trains. So I've just come to sit in the roof terrace of my hotel. I mean, it's hardly like a roof terrace. I'll just show you guys real quick. So it's just like a seating area, really. So annoying because I really rushed to get ready and I still ended up missing the train, which is really upsetting. I'm on the train now, on my way to Lake Como. Well, the train leaves in half an hour. Um, I quickly went to Burger King before and got a vegan burger. It's weird because they put like the chicken nuggets, the vegan chicken nuggets inside and make that the burger. And it was like 10 euros, so I don't think that was worth it, but at least it filled me up. So when I get to Verona, I'm not going to have to eat. I can go straight to Bellagio and like explore and I won't have to stop to get some food. But yeah, I'm just waiting for the train to move and then hopefully I'm going to get to Bellagio at around 2 o'clock and do some exploring. I'm just in Bellagio now and I picked up a pistachio and strawberry ice cream which is much nicer than the one that I had in Milan yesterday. Just grab the seat on this bench in this cobble street. As you guys seen, it's like very hilly to walk here but it's so lovely, it's so nice. I'm just gonna eat this ice cream and cool down a bit because it's like really hot and then we're gonna do more exploring together. I'm highly tempted to find somewhere that sells swimwear. I wish I went Primark before and bought swimwear, beach bag and a towel because it is very likely that I want to go in the lake because apparently there's a beach down here. It is definitely way hotter than yesterday or I don't know if it's just that I'm out of the city but the weather is so nice. I'm just walking up a mountain now to go and see some sights but that ice cream was much needed. I'm kind of long staring at you. I mean, you've never seen someone vlogging before. But yeah, this is so nice guys, what a vibe. I've just come into a place that's on the coast of Bellagio just to grab a mocktail because I just think that I was getting really annoyed because the food was crap and you know when you're just hot and bothered and I was like starting to really stress myself out so I decided to come to this restaurant and I'm going to show you guys a few in soon I'm just going to sit here and chill out for a little bit and just have a much needed chill out time where I'm not walking from place to place and I'm like, panicking and overthinking and stressing out. I just need to just chill, okay, for a second. guys it's been a while since i picked up my camera i am back at my hotel as you can tell i rested up only for like an hour it's 10 to 9 right now i literally spent the last hour scrolling through google delivery trying to find like authentic aubergine parmigiana which is like my favorite italian dish or a vegetarian lasagna and could not find any of that so oh my god 
I didn't even tell you guys about that pizza. That was the worst pizza I've ever had in my life. I just ended up scraping off the mozzarella and like having it with like that much bread because it was literally, I think that's what really annoyed me. Like when I was in Bellagio, after that I was like, no, just get me home. I just quickly filmed a room tour, which you would have seen at the beginning of this video that I just inserted into the beginning because I forgot to record one. When I first got here, or I was too tired, I can't remember, but I went to that restaurant and I'm one of those annoying people because I got there and I realized I wasn't even hungry. So really, I just wanted a nighttime scooter ride if I was being honest with myself. So I'm about to take off my makeup and head to bed. Good night guys, catch up with you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, it's day three in Milan and today we're going thrifting. I'm so excited, I've literally been scrolling through TikTok like since I booked this, planning on the shops that I'm gonna go to. I do not have a lot of sp like space in my bags. I probably only have space for like one pair of trousers and like maybe a cute top if I find one worthy enough. But my plan today, like what I've man been manifesting in my mind is to find like the perfect pair of vintage jeans preferably levi or some kind of designer but that is my goal like i want to find like a kind of loose fitted baggy mid to low rise jeans so i'm going to a couple of places today i don't know the names by heart so i'm gonna have to tell you and show you guys when i get there and then we're gonna grab a cute lunch together walk around the duomo again and um, i want to get one of those ice creams that has like the flowers around it that i've been seeing because i haven't got one yet and then I have and then my flight back to London is at nine o'clock tonight or ten o'clock tonight so I'm gonna leave my bag at the hotel and go spend our last day in Italy together I'm so excited I've woken up in a better mood than I was yesterday I don't know what happened yesterday but my mood crashed after Lake Como and yeah but I've had more than enough rest I mean a lion for me is sleeping until eight o'clock not gonna lie I tried to force myself to sleep for longer but I was having nightmares so random but I decided to like do really light makeup today. Basically all I'm wearing is the liquid blush, iconic liquid blush. And I've just brushed up my eyebrows because I just want a nice cool vibe. So I'm back in the center of Milan and I've come to this fr uh, vintage thrift shop called Humana Village. I'll show you guys what it looks like. And because it's so early, it's really quiet. So I'm gonna go in there and see if we can find some bits. And then I need to grab something to eat because I'm starving. So the first shop I've come in, I was not expecting it, but I found these three Levi jeans. So I'm going to try them on and show you guys what they look like and hopefully I like one. This is the first pair. I'm not going to lie, I thought these wasn't going to fit me, but this is literally exactly what I'm looking for. Like a low rise jeans. I feel like they kind of make one look... Mm, I don't know. This is really nice though. This is a very strong contender. This pair of pleasantly surprised me not gonna lie i don't know if it's just a bit too tight on my legs not tight fitting but like as in i mean yeah as in the fit is tight because it's really belly for me at the back but i kind of like that but i'm just wondering if the legs are a bit too slim fit for what i want so i grabbed a pistachio this is like i thought it was like a donut but he said it's sort of like bread with pistachio in it, which I saw the other day, which I really wanted to try, and an espresso. I'm gonna try the pistachio. I'm always really soft, I thought it was gonna be hard. That is so good. means I can bring it on the plane and it's 17 euros so it's cheaper hair. so I'm just going to smell them all and then choose which one to get. I picked up a few bits from Zara which I'll show you guys but I just came into this place, I saw it the other day and I've seen it on people's vlogs and it's like basically a pizza slice that they slice up for you and yeah I basically wanted to try it. She just opened so pizza is scorching hot, I don't, I don't think I can eat right now, like, look at the smoke from all of that. I think it's too hot to eat now, but I'm going to eat this and then continue trying to find my dream thrift trousers. Yeah. 
as well you guys can see me but um i got the rest of that pizza to take away like i ate half of it and then as i was walking i was gonna like sit outside the duomo and like eat it with like a nice scenic view but as i was walking there was um, a homeless lady and she was taking trash out of the bin to eat like someone's mcdonald's and stuff so i just gave her the other half of my pizza because she got I mean I can always buy more food but the poor lady was taking food out of the bin and she was so happy and so grateful to get like half of my pizza slice I'm just so happy everything happens for a reason I'm so happy I didn't like force myself to finish the food in the shop because if I did then I would have walked past her and she would have had rubbish to eat from a bin so everything happens for a reason I'm so glad that I was able to like bump into her and give it to her <laughs> She just got here and I'm just sat in this little sorry I'm just sat at this little terrace bit I bought some bits from Zara I think I showed you guys and Kiko as well I've got like a new lip combo I kind of rubbed it off so you can't really see it too tough but I'm gonna sit here and chill for a little bit and then all right, it's 3 20 and I don't need to get the train to the airport until like 7 so I might find something to eat or I might just like chill here I'm not sure yet but I can't, do I regret? I kind of regret booking the flight so late. I kind of wish I booked it at like seven because then I could have left now and gone straight to the airport, but that's fine. I finally found a place that runs vegetarian lasagna with a few hours to spare before I head back. It's literally directly opposite Central Station, so it was right where I was staying this whole time. But it's a spinach and ricotta lasagna. And I have been craving veg vegetarian lasagna for literally months and since I got here I've been googling and trying to find somewhere and I couldn't find anywhere. The place is called Nico Quick Bites and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it comes. This is lasagna. I've never had a spinach and ricotta lasagna before. I did just order french fries to go with it because it's like smaller than I expected. Hello guys, as you can tell I'm back home. I arrived last night at like 3am. I couldn't close out the vlog because I forgot to close it in, in the hotel and by the time I got to the airport my flight was delayed so I was just so annoyed so tired I didn't get back in like I said till like 3am and the trains weren't running anymore so I had to take a bus and then the bus terminated halfway through so I had to get another one it was just hectic overall I had the best time in Milan in Lake Como it was an amazing trip if you do want to travel I recommend going there as a female solo traveler definitely um, because it's quite affordable you guys saw like everything I bought it is uh, yeah it is affordable it's kind of like the same prices as like the outer skirts of London um but yeah it was really good so much to do there the transport links there are amazing even to go out like to Lake Como so easy you have the metro in the city center I stayed at a hotel called Nick's Hotel which was in right next to the station it was literally like three train stops three train stops to the dome to the Duomo you know the cathedral so it was really close um but yeah thank you so much for watching I really hope you've enjoyed it I am going on another trip next month and I cannot wait to tell you guys all about it. Make sure you follow me on my TikTok because I'm going to talk about it there first. The link is down below in my bio. Please subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys in my next video.